Hey, it's Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast, back with another Let's Play video from the Williams Pinball app, um, mobile version, obviously, uh, playing on my iPhone, in case it's any different from Android, which it isn't. But this time, we are going to be playing, it's a doozy, uh, so it's Attack from Mars, one ball, and here's why it's a doozy, playing the premium challenge. That means I need 8 billion points on one ball. Yeah, there's a treat. Um, this one, this is as hard as it gets, pretty much. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull out all the tricks necessary in order to get this particular point total. Um, let's just dive in. This is gonna take a while. I can, I can tell you that already. All right, let's go. This so, as my typical strategy is, hold that left flipper on launch, then try and hit the middle. That'll open it up. I do it right at the beginning of a one ball because it's the only opportunity I'm going to have to quickly open that up and uh, be safe. Now it's going to be a matter of avoiding that center shot at all costs unless I have multi ball. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the right side of the table typically first. Hit my orbit or hit the ramp. I don't know. It's, it's not like I'm accurate on the aiming. It's kind of a either or. See, there's, I was aiming for the orbit, and I hit the ramp. And let's get it going again. And I'm not going to shoot the center shot. It's getting too risky. I'll try for the left side. Let it bounce over. Catch. Try for the left side again. Let's do this again. Oh, didn't do it that time. That was safe because I only have the one shot to go, so I was going to catch I just didn't want to roll him back. Roll back, let's see if we can hit the ramp. We are invincible. So there is a safe way of hitting the middle. Oh, I might show it to you when I need to. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to get a multi ball going. Uh, obviously, trying for. Uh, Total annihilation. There we go. Watch out, man. I don't want to hit that middle because I want to get it built up again. I don't mind randomly getting that. The uh, the lock ball. No, still not hitting that uh, ramp. Come on, let's get this ramp. There we go. And let's get the orbit. Nope. So that's kind of how you... I mean, I know that was quick, but what you'll, if you shoot right at the end of the flipper and then into the slingshot, basically, uh, or the Martian target, a lot of times it'll bounce straight and uh, graze off the center like that. So I'm trying to light, see if I can open it up again before hitting this, the left orbit. Because, again, I want... I want the saucer shot to be open while I have multi-ball. That way some multi-balls can randomly get in there. And uh, maybe I'll destroy the saucer in a safe manner. Come well, on, fun to combo. What do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, if I can just shoot the left orbit, that'll give me a easy reset. Watch, I'll just bounce it over. Catch. Now I'll shoot my left orbit. Or miss it. Oh, don't like the side to sides on this. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Okay, good news. No that opened up. Blast those Martians. There we go. Total annihilation. So now I got multiple with the saucer shed open, if you will. Um, and just the balls are randomly going to hit in there. I'm not even aiming for that. I'm aiming for ramps. Doing the tactic also, once I get down to two balls, where I'm going to be shooting to get them trapped up into the uh, pop buffer. See how that just drained? I mean, you know, you sh sh shoot the center shot and it just drained. There we go. So now I'm going to be down to two balls. Cash. Let's get this one over into the pop bumper if we can. So 
now we'll catch. And shoot the pop bumper again. There you go. That was totally unnecessary. Probably should have just le left it on my flipper there. Super dead! Oh, now we here we go. Super jet's going on. So now we really want to get into there. Ah. See, the problem is I'm not very patient with uh, multi-ball. I want all my balls flying at the same time. I hate just keeping one capture. Missiles on standby. So we're halfway there. Nothing can defeat us. And basically my tactic is, let's go ahead and do what we did at the start of this. Let's get those orbits lit, and the ramps lit, get total annihilation going again. It's just too risky going for the, the ball lock, because um, it's too close to the center. You miss it, center drain, or it'll go start going sideways on you. So especially in one ball, the safer play is just to purely the ramps and the orbit. It's a safe shot all the way every time when the ball comes back down. Lots of dead passing going on. Use the atomic blaster, now! Get your hands off me, all four of them! I mean, you see I'm not at all trying for Martian multi-ball either. It's, it's just a very safe approach. Not trying to get the hurry up. Again, 8 billion points is a long way to go. There's nothing worse than getting to like seven billion points and crapping out. Save me, save no. me! Oh, that was dicey. If I can just get that ramp. Nope. No. Oh, why did I catch it? I should have let it bounce. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. I still only got to hurry up. Oh, well. A little over three billion points to go. Three and a half billion. And all right, now let's get this ramp. Great ramp. Get one. Get the flipper again. Oh, perfect. Save the Brandenburg tour. That's perfect. No! Jeez. Alright, if we can get this, we'll get Total Annihilation going, and I think that'll be... Alright, we got a good shot of finishing it right here in this multi-ball. Jets are going crazy. And see, that's one of the advantages of if you're constantly shooting the pop bumpers and you get the super jets going. That's a lot of points. Okay, well. Now what to do? <laughs> I'm so close to the end. Only one thing you can do. Oh, see, look, there's too many shots to, to try and hit. Oh. Awesome. I already hit two balls locked. Here comes third. Multi ball again. All right. Let's get some jackpots. There's him. There's two. There's three. Super jackpot for me now. And I got two hits left on the center oh. Alright, now you gotta cross your fingers and hope you got enough bonus.
Woo! Yeah. All right, coin time. Big bucks and whammies, let's see what we get. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. You're doing the hardest challenge, premium, on hard, and you still just get the same amount of coin, the same amount of tickets. It, it, It's kind of why I... I Look, to play premium challenge, it's 25 tickets. And half the time, it's not worth the reward. You're going to spend so many tickets getting there uh, that the tickets that you wind up winning from it, it becomes a wash or you're still in the negative on it. Same thing goes with pro challenge. Pro challenge costs 15 tickets. Unless it's a table that you're confident that you can nail, you might as well not play it at all. Therefore, spend your five tickets to put up in a different table. So Attack from Mars, I'm pretty confident on it. That's why I was going ahead and playing it. You're never going to see me playing Safe Cracker in premium. That's just a waste of tickets and time. Not going to do it. So uh, same thing with Champion Pub. Just the frustration is not worth it to me. I don't tend to do one ball challenges either in pro or premium. Uh, again, it depends on the table though. Like I'll do Black Rose. I'll do Attack from Mars. Uh, I might even do Medieval Madness. But Party Zone? Hell no, not even going to bother. So, again, the approach, the attack that I'm doing on Attack from Mars in one ball, just avoid the center shot and kind of avoid the ball lock shot right to the to the left of that. Just shoot your orbits, shoot your ramps, get total annihilation going. Hopefully you'll have by accident hit the middle shot. And again, if you really want to open up the middle shot on your own, just flip with the ball all the way on the end. You're going to basically be grazing off I think it's off the, the slingshot. It's going to kind of go hit the Martian targets, bounce up, and uh, hit that on an angle, hit the center, and then come safely back down. Um, that way you don't have to worry about draining. But you're now putting the ball sideways. If it starts getting in the slingshot territory and bouncing back and forth, that's a nightmare too, so you don't want to be doing that. Um, so you're going to get good at shooting the orbits and the ramps. It's just by nature of constantly doing them. You're going to get the timing of them. It becomes very safe. So you saw right there, I did two total annihilations, plus I got a, a regular multi-ball going. And the destroying the saucer was the last thing on my mind. It was purely a, uh, hey, it happens while I'm in multi-ball. So that's how you play Attack from Mars. One ball on hard in premium. All right. Hey, if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, hey, put in requests if there's anything particular you would like to see me do. A uh, particular challenge. Uh, if, if, if there's... Shoot, if you want me to play a full three-ball game, let me know what it is you want to see specifically. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on banging out these challenges and uh, giving tips on these. All right. Until the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.